South of India, protests by farmer groups in Karnataka against the farm bills passed in parliament and amendments to the two bills passed in the Karnataka Assembly, which make it easier to buy agricultural land. The contentious Karnataka Land Reform Second Amendment Bill 2020, removing almost all restrictions on buying farmlands, was passed with a voice vote. The Bund called by farmers' organizations in Karnataka did draw a mixed response. Farmers did hold protests in several towns off the city, including right here in Bengaluru. There were thousands who gathered for those protests. But by and large, in areas which were not seeing protests, it was a normal day in the city of Bengaluru. There was traffic on the road, most shops were open, public transport was available. The state government, the BJP state government, making sure that public transport was on the road. There was a little bit of extra police presence in some places, but by and large, a normal day. The Bund was, however, backed by the Congress, which agrees with the farmers' statements. The farmers have been saying that amendments to bills here in Karnataka made on Saturday and bills passed in the parliament last week are actually anti-farmer. The amendments to the bills in Karnataka include lifting of certain restrictions when it comes to buying agricultural land in Karnataka and also saying that farmers need not take their produce to the APMC yard. Now, this, the BJP says, is for the good of the farmers, the Congress and farmers organizations here saying it is not, that it is anti-farmer. So this Bund call here in Karnataka, a mixed response here in Bengaluru and also across the state in other places like Hubuli, North Karnataka, Kodagu as well, Mangaluru as well, seeing protests but largely life normal. With Nanda Kumar, Maya Sharma in Bengaluru for NDTV. Extra police presence on the ground here in Bengaluru, but also in other cities of Karnataka, as farmers groups call for a bund protesting against recent legislation, which they say is anti-farmer. In parliament, of course, some bills were passed, but the farmers are also protesting against amendments to two bills that were passed here in Bengaluru during the assembly session. These bills, one of them essentially lifts many restrictions when it comes to buying agricultural land. The other one says that farmers need not take their produce to APMC. Now, the farmers group say that some of these acts are actually now anti-farmer. This is a BJP state government, of course, and the BJP government is doing what it can to make sure that life goes on normally with extra police presence on the ground. State transport is running. The buses the different bus services in the state are actually running. Schools and colleges are, of course, anywhere closed, but uh, teachers who were going to school to do online classes have been asked to stay home at some schools. Some shops are open, some keeping their shutters down because of the bun, but the BJP government certainly keen to see that life continues as normal. Protests in other parts of the state as well, in Hubali, in Kodagu, in Mangaluru, in North Karnataka as well. Here in Karnataka at the town hall, there was a big protest also with protesters moving to Freedom Park as well. But considerably more police presence on the ground here in Bengaluru and in Karnataka after a statewide bund called by farmers groups against legislation they say is anti-farmer. This bund backed by the Congress and it will continue the whole day. With Nanda Kumar, Maya Sharma in Bengaluru for NDTV.